and then Moses. Um, of course, we know that was before Jesus Christ, the ultimate sacrifice for our sins, for humanity. Moses, you know, made God a little angry when he hit that rock, you know, too hard or too many times or something. And he wasn't allowed to go to the promised land. He had to look at it from a distance. But when Moses died, you know, they buried him on the mountain. But the word says that the devil wanted Moses' body. Isn't that strange? Why? Why, does he, why did he want Moses' body? What I think is the reason is because Moses was in the presence of God Almighty. He had the Shekinah glory all in him, all on him, and the devil wanted a piece of it. And God wasn't going to let it happen. And um, the word says that God himself buried Moses. So he hid him from the devil. The devil couldn't get Moses' bones. So in these end times, you know, we all know what's going to happen. But God is not going to forget his covenant with Abraham. Never, ever, ever. So that's why, you know, they just, Jews can't help it. They're, they're just born smart. You know, even if, you know, I'm willing to bet that, you know, if, if a Jewish person was adopted into not a very smart family, the Jew, Jewish child would grow up to be a doctor or an attorney. It's just in their DNA, and it's so awesome. Um, you know, that's where you get all your, your laws. Why didn't they eat pork? Worms. You know, there's so many rules that God Almighty gave them that you people should really be proud of. You know, if, if it wasn't for Jewish people, we'd still be living in huts. We'd still be in huts. You know, there would be no mathematicians or, you know, doctors or attorneys or, you know, whatever. So, I mean, why do you think they call it jewelry? Jewelry.